Chapter 18, Appendix to the Previous Chapter, Structure of Matter. The comparison of the monochromatic times of simple light with the electronic times has been done in the assumption of those isolated fields because in truth these light fields simple in its systematic integration of white light becomes more serious and of course have longer durations of time that is they, de they degenerate from themselves or what is the same become a different nature this fact of the said monochromatic electrons being of a more intense internal state of greater mass does not however make them heavier and it is clear they are now within another cosmic unit that despite being denser has less energetic materiality simple violet light for example is presumably not of this color in the harmonious set of white light she must tend without a doubt towards red all this means then is that the sum of the weights of the isolated fields must have greater must be greater than the sum of the whole in the integration of white light it also follows from this that within the harmonic system of composite light the monochromatic wavelength is shorter and consequently that the frequency is greater within said enclosure than 800 billion for the degenerate white light for the degenerate for the degenerate violet the thing is that our vision does not depend on the number of variations but on the density but since these two circumstances are always linked one has been taken for the other the higher the density therefore the shorter the wavelength This is how it is explained then, that the degenerate violet having more frequency tends towards red. This behavior of light energy is applicable to all energetic events within the infinite field of chemical nature. And it also gives us a clear and precious vision and a clear and precise vision of the structure of matter. And it is logical, each field of simple light just like each electron planet of atomic energy expresses a space strewn with energetic corpuscles contained within the same energy, the same systematic form of the general structure of the sensible fields. Therefore, each field expression of matter or energy is nothing more than the division and subdivision ad infinitum of this general system as an intracosmic alternative in the measure of a continuous and infinite difference of the spaces contained within a limit appropriate to the general cosmic that they express. It is, in a word, a continuous differentiation of the geometric of the continuous principle or universal substance in the sensible appearance of matter or energy as the content of a real state to the extent of a geometric complication as the interior structure of the field. It is that the mass itself, the inner state, behaved before the clear light of our eyes to the touch and before the other senses, now in the form of an energetic knot, or now of the static matter as an apparent spawn of the physical reality of bodies. That is the general structure of the matter 